What's going on guys, it's Kay from Beyond the Box back with another video. If you guys are anything like me, you guys love spies, you love James Bond, you're looking forward towards the future. Today we're taking a look at the Ray-Ban smart glasses from Facebook. Now I got these in the Wayfair uh, design, but these are Facebook's first smart glasses. And unlike Oculus, these are not VR and these are not AR, surprisingly even though they come from Facebook. There's no AR or VR technology built in, which is kind of surprising because you would think since Facebook owns Oculus, that they would put that into their product. But they are working on a few future pairs of smart glasses, so I'm looking out for those. But today, these are just gonna be your regular old smart glasses, but with a little bit of a twist. And I'm taking a look at these bad boys for the first time. So how do we get these out? So we slide them out? Yeah, I think so. There we go. Now these glasses may not be VR or AR capable, but they are capable of taking photos and 30 second short clips, which is a little short in my opinion, especially if you're paying $300 for smart glasses, you should be able to record more than 30 seconds. So it looks like this is all that comes in the box. You got your, your charging cable, it's probably USB type C. Let's take a look at that. Yep, and uh, download the Facebook View app if you haven't done so already, which I have. And inside you're gonna find a small little carrying case baggie to wrap your sunglasses in. And I believe I got these in the 52 millimeter size. I'm not exactly sure, I can't remember. You can see the moment you open the case, uh, this orange light at the bottom turns on. The case has around three full charges of battery inside and one full charge of the glasses will get you around six hours by themselves. But I've read online that one half hour phone call can sometimes drop the battery about 25%. So you take that battery life with a grain of salt. So the cool thing about the case is that it charges your glasses. So you're gonna need to make sure that you take this case with you when you travel, because that's gonna be the main way that the glasses charge up. The charging spot is under the right Arm. You can see the uh, magnetic connectors for the battery down over there. So they just plop right into place with magnets and boom, you're charging. So every time you know it's charging, the orange light comes on. I'm assuming when they're fully charged, they probably have a green light. But let's put these bad boys on. I've been looking forward to something like this since the early 2000s when all those spy movies came out. Ooh, these are so cool. The moment of truth. What do they look like when you wear them? Now, if I didn't know any better, guys, I would say these look like regular Ray-Bans. The only difference I would say is the arms are slightly thicker than your traditional Ray-Ban sunglasses. But all in all, there's no way that anybody would know you're wearing camera sunglasses when you go out. That is really cool. Depending on if you wanna be discreet about it or if you feel like people around you should know, I don't really care if people around me know. I'm a little troublemaker. I like to be able to do stuff without people knowing. I like breaking rules. I like doing things my way. I don't really like the fact that I know that the, there's a light that shines when you're recording. So I'm assuming we press, there's a button right here at the top of your glasses on the right side. I believe that's the only uh, button on the sunglasses anywhere I can find because the right side is actually a touch device. You tap and uh, change your song and play and pause and skip tracks by uh, tapping and sliding to the right. But let's get these puppies playing something and let's figure out how to power them on for the first time. So to turn these bad boys on, you're gonna find this little switch on the left arm inside and you just switch that to the right, you're gonna see a little green light. Uh, I believe that they are on. Let's open up the Facebook View app. So it's gonna have you sign in with Facebook, obviously. Uh, view would like you to use Bluetooth. All right, start with the white LED flashing. Remove the protective tab covering the metal and dock the glasses in the charge for 15, 20 minutes, okay? I wanna take these sunglasses to the club with me in a few minutes to see what cool video clips I can record with this. I wanna see what the camera's like in the dark. Uh, these do have a five megapixel camera as I mentioned earlier, so I'm not expecting a whole lot. Okay, now the green light is finally on. Wait for the LED to turn green, which it is. Put your glasses in pairing mode, slide and hold the power button for five seconds and then release when the light blinks blue. Let's get them in pairing mode. There we go, lights blink blue. Okay, they found them, nice. Yeah, these are sick. These look like regular Ray-Bans. I can wear these all the time. What is also cool about these sunglasses is you can use the words, hey Facebook, to command them. You can say, hey Facebook, to take a photo or record a video clip. 
and this white LED will blink or record or be bright white when you are recording so people around you know what's going on. Okay, we got two minutes remaining. Oh, it looks like you create your own Wi-Fi network when you connect to these glasses with the app. But the cool thing about these is if you do wear glasses, you can actually put your prescription lenses inside. So just take these to your local eye doctor. You can get these outfitted with whatever you need. We finally got to update, set up assistant with Facebook. Let's do that. Use Hey Facebook to activate. Your transcripts are stored to help improve the assistant. Get to know your glasses. Take photos by pressing and holding the top button. The white notification LED will blink to make a sound during capture. Recording a video will be up to 30 seconds. Press, and press it just once and uh, the, the white LED will stay on while you're recording. Uh, the, the capture LED signals to others that you're taking a photo or video. Uh, capture hands-free just by saying, hey, Facebook, take a photo. Hey, Facebook, take a photo. I can't do that on your glasses. I can't do that on your glasses, okay. Well, that's good to know. Play audio by tapping once to play or pause, double tap to go forward, triple tap to go back. Adjust the volume by swiping Ooh, ooh, that's cool. Very futuristic, I love it. You can take calls with it, double tap to answer, double tap to end, press and hold to reject a call. And there's an LED inside, which, which will actually let you know when you are recording, when it's ready to use, when it's not ready to use, when battery is low, etc. Trying to listen to some music right now. And I definitely think the Bose Altos frames that I reviewed like a year and a half ago, probably sound better, um, but they didn't look this good and they didn't look this cool and they weren't this inconspicuous. Let's try to take some photos. Hey, Facebook, take a photo. What do you mean you can't do that on my glasses? Like, what the hell are you talking about? So I think the recording right now, I just pressed once to record, but we'll see if we're getting a video. Okay, it takes a few seconds to get it to pop up, but let's take a look at this video. So I think the recording right now, I just pressed once to record, but We'll see if we're getting a video. Well, that's pretty cool. The quality isn't incredible, but it's a, it's only a five megapixel camera. The snap feature really lets you know when you took a photo versus a video, but you need quite a bit of quiet to know what you're doing exactly. Yeah, that looks like a five megapixel camera. <laughs> Don't laugh at my cords, guys. I'm not very good with cord management, but. We're gonna get some more footage and some more pictures tonight when I take these out. We're gonna see what they look like in low light settings. Uh, you guys probably already know what they look like in daytime settings. There's plenty of other people on YouTube that are doing videos with them in the daytime, but I thought it'd be cool since I'm going to a club pretty soon to see what they would be like in the nighttime, in the dark, and uh, we'll see if we can get some cool footage for you guys. Gonna be pretty spy worthy because nobody's gonna really know I'm recording, so it's gonna be pretty cool. <laughs> and I think every single time that you open up the app, it shows you in the bottom right hand corner that how many how many files there are that you want to transfer over to the phone, not your actual camera roll. They'll stay on this app, the Facebook View app, until you switch them over to your camera roll. So let's play some music. Lowering the volume. Increasing the volume. Tap to once to pause. Tap once to play. Hey Facebook, take a photo. Okay, so the voice assistant is practically useless in my opinion because how many times are you gonna wanna use the assistant if all it does is keep saying, I can't do that on your glasses. I don't know of anybody else online that's really having that issue and I've never heard anything about that before yet. So this is news to me. I don't get why I'm having this issue. I love when a product doesn't work perfectly out of the box like it's supposed to. It shouldn't be giving you these issues, you know? Hey Facebook, record a video. I can't do that on your glasses. Now that just makes no sense. What is the point of a voice assistant if it doesn't actually do what you ask? Guys, I don't know what to tell you with the voice assistant. Everything besides the voice assistant seems pretty great. The, the music and the volume and all that could be better. Uh, the Bose Altos was definitely better, but that was an actual sound company. You're putting a camera and speakers and a bunch of tech in these 
uh, small sunglasses, which are pretty compact, and I'm pretty happy about that. They're pretty inconspicuous, but I am disappointed that there is no AR features, at least because these could technically hold a few different things, just like the Snapchat spectacles. You can do AR on there, not a lot, but you can put AR in those smart spectacles. So I'm disappointed when it comes to a few features, but yeah, guys, I guess that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. These are a pretty cool product. Hopefully I can figure out the voice assistant problem because that would be cool just to be able to record and take photos without actually pressing the button. But that's not a big deal to me. If you guys like being cool, stylish, you guys like the Ray-Ban design, you guys wanna be little spies, you guys wanna get these for your kids at Christmas, definitely not worth $300, maybe $200. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please smash that thumbs up if you haven't done so already. We're giving an Oculus Quest 2 away at 20,000 subscribers and we're giving a PS5 away at 30,000 subscribers. So if you guys haven't done so, if this is your first time here, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you always know when I post. And follow me on Twitter because when I do giveaways, we'll announce them there. But I'm gonna go have some fun. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.